think that's about it for extraction points. So finally, Perseus Mandate. It was kind of nice how you actually did get sort of a boss fight uh, there at the end, you know, uh, against the, the commander, the albino commander of the Nightcrawlers. Um, and, you know, I, I don't know, I guess it sort of makes sense that uh, the senator would, you know, try to send them because he didn't really buy that Genevieve would, Genevieve would completely fix everything, but, um, oh, and meant to say this about uh, Extraction Point as well, both of them break the first person perspective a couple of times, Extraction Point especially does it really irritatingly because it, it really, really distracts. And it's just kind of, if you can't keep to it, don't try, because it just makes you look bad. It's like if you try for, you know, if, say, um, if you try for a specific, uh, you know, any storytelling device, any gimmick kind of thing, if you at some point break the rules of that, it's just, it's gonna attract more attention to itself than if you just from the start said okay I can't live up to this so just let's buy yourself some more freedom and you know so but yeah that happens in both of them the um the the couple of times you get like allies they are mostly pretty useless I mean the Delta Force guys are the weakest fucking I've never fought with anyone in a video game that played so poorly. They just, they run straight into, you know, the gunfire and just immediately get themselves killed. I mean, I just heard, we got a man down! Time after time, every single time that they, um, that there was a situation where there was one of those near me, I don't know, maybe I was supposed to just throw myself into the battle and use the reflex uh, time and just wipe them all out so that the Delta Force guys wouldn't see any action. I don't know. And then somehow, and maybe even keep them all alive, I don't know. I don't care. They were fucking pathetic. They were just, they were completely useless. And it, um, you have to wonder why they even bothered. Uh, again, it just attracts even more attention. It just makes you wonder, you know, how could they give them such piss poor AI. I, the, um, the the teammates aren't too bad though, um, even though they have zero personality whatsoever. Also, it, it makes no sense. It, you know, the, the, I already mentioned this in the review, but it just makes no sense that this guy has reflex time. I mean, at Wikipedia they sort of said that, you know, maybe Paxton hints a little that maybe you're a clone of his brother, you know, the point man, but just, you know, no, it just, they wanted, uh, they, they didn't want to um, skip on that, you know, one of the, um, one of the things that helped sell the, uh, the Orwell, because, you know, without that, it's basically just a shooter with super soldiers. It's, um, not that the slow motion has ever made all that much sense, but, you know. Also, okay, going back to the original, was that not the most obvious fucking twist in the history of twists ever? Of course the point man was somehow related to the mysteries of what was going on. Of course he was. How else would he have reflex time? It would, it would have made no sense if that hadn't been, you know, that was just... That was ridiculous. That I did they really expect to fool anyone with that? Just you know, oh well, I just woke up one morning and I could move faster than everyone else. And no, come on, of course he was. Okay, so um, if you've actually made it all the way through uh, this video, uh, here's a little hint that I discovered. Um, if you're if you have any kind of trouble, like um, you know, if you're running out of ammunition or anything. If you toss away the weapon you're carrying and then pick up an enemies of the same kind, it will have 
you know, a pretty decent amount of ammo. I mean, like the 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 submachine gun has 150 bullets if you if you don't have one when you pick it up, and then if you pick up your own one after that, it'll have the, the same amount of bullets that it had when you threw it. And then you know, again, find another um, enemy's dropped submachine gun, toss your submachine gun, pick up his. It'll have 150. Add it to the, you know, you'll have the 500 bullets in no time. It'll uh, save you on a ton of bullets, and um, you know, just that was. Um, you don't appear to be able to do it in Fear 2, though. Um, and I don't even think you can throw your weapon away there unless you're picking up a new one. See you next time.